How can you grow your YouTube channel like a billion dollar startup? Airbnb, Coinbase, Twitch. What's going on? Harvard's network is about to crash. These successful startups all have one thing in common, and if you apply it to your channel, you'll be able to grow as quickly as a startup. Probably the most important single piece of advice I got, it's better to have 100 people that love you than a million customers that just sort of like you. 100 people to love you means you need to meet them. You need to understand their problems. You would meet with every one of our hosts. What's up, it's Peter. I'm a venture capitalist turned content creator here in San Francisco. Today I'm gonna to talk about how you can talk directly to your audience so that you understand their wants so deeply that they fall in love with your videos. How to run an audience interview. One, principles. Two, setup. Three, interview. All right, let's talk about what an audience interview is and what are some principles of an effective audience interview. The goal of an audience interview is to understand your ideal audience member so that you know who they are, what are their goals, their challenges, so that you can ultimately make better videos to help them. And as a creator, you wanna have this direct connection with your audience throughout the whole life cycle of your business. I've adapted this framework from Eric Michikovsky. He's a partner at Y Combinator. If you haven't heard of them, they're pretty much like the Harvard of startup incubators and they've invested in Airbnb, Coinbase, DoorDash, et cetera. In his book, The Mom Test, Rob Fitzpatrick, another YC alum suggests, don't talk about your idea or try to sell your idea. Instead, try to really focus on your audience member and their goals, their problems, their situation. Also, don't ask about hypothetical situations or the future. Oh, if I make this type of video, would you watch it? What do you think? So do less of talking about the future and focus more on their specific issues and challenges that they have right now or that they've had in the past. Talk less and listen more. More. So they should be doing most of the talking and you know an audience interview is going well when they're talking a lot and they're starting to even ramble. Two, set up. Now with the principles in mind, now you can set up your audience interview. First, identify who your ideal audience member is. Are they a younger version of yourself? How old are they? What's their gender identity? What's their profession? What are their goals in life, their career, their relationships? What are their challenges? Write all this down and come up with a persona that you can just picture in your mind every time you're making a video and talking to the camera. Now think about where they hang out. Do they hang out in forums online or on Discord or at a certain cafe or certain industry conferences. Now you can reach out to them appropriately, whether it's through a text, a DM, email, asking them in person. You can basically send them a short message telling them about who you are and what your channel's about and that you're doing audience interviews so that you can make better content for them and ask them if they have 15 minutes to chat with you about their experience. Here's an example template to give you a starting point. Once you reach out to them, make sure to get their email or their phone number and then send them a calendar invite. Three, interview. After setting up the call, now it's time to interview interview your ideal audience member. I usually like to have a doc ready with my interview questions ready, but here's a general framework that you can use as a starting point. One, just catching up, just seeing how they're doing. After that, I like to lay out the agenda and then see if that sounds good with them. And then from there, I move into these key questions. What got you into doing this niche? You wanna start things off super open-ended so you get as much context around their motivations. Why do they do what they wanna do? What brought them to this path? Like really try to understand the path that led them to where they are today. So try to understand what are the goals, like say in the next 12 months, the next three years, what do they really want and what really excites them? What's blocking you from those goals? So try to understand what are their challenges that they're going through? What's the hardest part about that challenge? How frequently does it happen? If it's a big challenge and it happens frequently, that's when you know there's a big problem that you're solving. What alternatives have you tried? So try to understand what they've already tried to solve this problem. What don't you love about that? So try to understand what helped and then what's the gap that they still have. And the whole time, make sure you take lots of notes so that you have a lot of data, a lot of anecdotes, quotes that you can look back on to make better decisions about the direction of your channel. And since you, are watching my channel, you're probably my ideal audience member. So if you have any topics that you want me to consider making videos about that would be helpful for you, definitely let me know in the comments. And if you have more questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram at PeterJSu. I'll try to respond as much as I can. If you wanna improve your YouTube videos, you might like my review of Matt Devella's Master YouTube Course. Or if you wanna get into making YouTube Shorts, then you might like my series on how to make better YouTube Shorts. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Whoa!